PHP 7 now offers the ability to modify your session options that are automatically configured. So if you go to your local host directory and you will visit the dashboard, click on PHP info. This will provide you with all of the default settings and configurations that are available to you. And this page just gives you all the information of those default settings. So this is actually really nice. These settings are here so that you don't have to mess around with these settings. They're just set in the background and you can forget them. Now, in some cases, what you will want to do is override these settings so that the default settings may conflict with the actions you're trying to take. So in our case, what we can do is with the session settings, we can actually now override it with the session start function. So let's take a look at finding the sessions section. So just keep hitting return until you find it. And you can see session support is enabled, which it will be on most servers. And you can see other pieces of information, but also what you can see here is the options, the directives, and you have the default values, and also you have the master value as well. So this is actually a really nice feature in PHP. I can see all of those session options and it's not really in the scope of this lecture to go through all of these options. We're not going to do that, but I want to show you how you can override these settings using session start. So let's go to my index.php file located in the htdocs php7 directory and we have a logged in link. Let's take a look at the page and you'll notice what I'm doing right here is I'm using the session start function. This will start a session on the server and allow me to store variables on the server. And then once I've stored the variables on the server, I can then retrieve data back from the server. So think of it as temporary storage on the server where I'm storing variables and values on the server. And then I can share those variables and values with all the other pages in my site. So for example, logging in, when somebody logs in, you can start a session and you can provide the username and also the password and that's stored on the server. So it's more secure. Now, when we say session start, that's all we used to do prior to PHP seven, you just started the session and then you'd set up your variables. But now what you can do is you can start to modify some of those options that were available to us. So all of these session options right here, you can now override their default value. You can change the functionality of this session by modifying those settings. And all you need to do is create an associative array. So these square brackets denote an array. So we're creating an array and then you have the key and value pairs. So for example, cache limiter, read and close and so forth. Let's take a look at cache underscore limiter. Well, there it is, cache limiter. Now this by default is set to no cache. But with this particular session that we're starting here and putting variables and values into, we're actually setting the cache limiter to private. Now also we have the read and close option. This is a new option in PHP 7 and can only be set when you define your session to start. So this option isn't available in the PHP any right here. And what that means is if you were to set it to true, it would literally set this up to say, right, this is a read only session. So you're supposed to read it and then not change it after you've set some variables and values. So you can decide to enable that if you want to. I'll just leave that as false, but that is a new option available to you. And you can take a look at all the options available to you in the PHP any, and you can take a look at PHP's website to look at all of these options. There's so much here that I couldn't possibly dream of going through all of it. But all you need to do is omit session dot, get rid of that. And all you need to do is just type in the option name, and then you need to set whatever option you'd like. So once I've gone ahead and started the session, now what I can do is I can take a look at creating a new variable called name. 
and this variable will store the value of Lawrence. So what I'm doing is I'm storing data on the server temporarily. And now all of my PHP pages that are located on that server can access that temporary storage and pull out that information. Now on top of that, we also have loggedin.php. Now loggedin.php will allow us to go to the loggedin.php page. There's nothing special about this link. And all we're doing here is we're starting the session again. Now it's very important we say session start because that will populate the session global with all of our temporary variables that we stored on the server. And that's the name variable. So we've stored it on the server and now we want to retrieve it on this page. So we start the session, it populates the session global and all I'm doing is I'm echoing out a string, you are logged in as, and then I'm pulling out that variable called name. So sessions are very powerful. They allow you to store variables on the server or any type of data that you would like, and then you can share that data with your pages. So when I go to the index.php page, as soon as I hit this page, it starts a new session, sets up our options, and then we can start to create some variables. It's already created this automatically as soon as I load the page. And now I can go to the logged in page. So let's click the link. And you'll notice what it did was it loaded loggedin.php. Up came this script. It started the session. It said, aha, there's a few variables stored on the server, namely the name variable. So it shoved that name variable inside of the session global and then it just allowed us to retrieve it out, which it had the value of Lawrence. So we can share data across pages in this manner. And it's very secure because it's all on the server side. None of it goes to the client. Now, when you exit out of the browser itself and then reopen the browser, what will happen is the session data will be cleared off the server. So I'm at the dashboard at the moment. That session data has been removed from the server. Now I'm not going to go back to the index page because if I do, it will recreate the name variable. Instead, what I want to do is go directly to the loggedin.php page. Now when I do this, because we're going directly to the logged in page, that variable we're just trying to get, we're not setting it. The index.php file sets the variable, it creates it. But the logged in file says, okay, well, the session data has been cleared. All right, it said session stop, but that data has been removed now from the server and we've not reset it back up again. So now it's going to try to look for the variable name, name, and it can't find that variable in the session global. And it's just going to give you an error saying I can't find it. So now I have to go back to the index page and then I have to log in again and there you'll see the name Lawrence. So there you go. That is the new feature in PHP 7, which is you can now set some options right here. And also you have the read and close option, which you can give the value of true or false to now modify and configure your sessions on the fly.